this end faces south, I'll walk up to these doors and show you what I'm gonna have to do to uh, close this in. I got a piece of three inch flat bar to put across there, or uh, not flat bar. Uh, anyway, you know, I'm strap, three inch strap to go across this gap. That's as close as them doors will get right now. So, you know, that it wasn't built for, it was built to store tractors and crap in. So, you know, it wasn't built for weather tight. You know, it wasn't, wasn't meant to be a shop ever. It's just meant for storage. So I'm gonna put a piece of strap across that and I'm gonna put a little bit across the bottom to, to close that gap on the floor a little bit, a piece of rubber or something down there. Um, that's pretty tight in the corner. So I'm gonna have to watch what I do there to keep shit from getting hung up. So, you know, it's, it's just a, it's just a trial. Um, you know, I don't have to have it that tight or, hang on a minute, or I can have it out enough where I can put that in there and I'll still be able to pull it up. So. Yeah, if I put it all the way to the end, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, you know, it's got some storage in it that, that can be taken out. None of it's really any good. You know, I might be able to use that, but it's it's nailed to the wall. It ain't going nowhere. The, the construction on this building was kind of strange to me. It's a pole building, but then they attach these uh, two to sixes to the wall and then they nailed the tin to that. So I've never seen one built like that, you know. Um, I've got some windows busted out that I'm just gonna board up. That's, you know, I don't know what else to do to them other than put new glass in them and wait for somebody to break that out. Um, this building's been broke into. As you can see, it's got metal bars over all the windows, but that doesn't stop the glass from being broke out. So uh, I've got this big old crack in the floor. Uh, it's a good, I'd say a good two inches thick. And uh, the length of the whole building. So, you know, something's happened here. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a water leak that's caused it or, or what, but you know, there's never been any water in the building that he, you know, that the landlord said. So I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's what it is. I mean, you know, any of this crap here, I can kind of get rid of if I need to. Um, you know, it's all nailed to, to something. You know, there's, I can put light shit up on top of that, I think. I think that's just plywood. I don't think there's any sheet rock on it, so, or not plywood paneling. I don't think there's any sheet rock on it, so, and my, my airplanes will go up there just fine. But, uh, you know, that's, that's this little office that I've been telling you about, you know, I gotta close this in. And I may not, who knows, you know? Um, I may just put my airplanes over there in the corner or something or in here, just get them out of the way. Uh, I've, I've got like a hundred of them, but yeah, I'm gonna put them on, on either on top of that or I'll put them on top of this little uh, loo right here, bathroom, whatever you wanna call it. It's got a roof on top of it, but I'm not sure what it's made out of. It looks like it's just made out of a sheet of plywood, so that may not be such a good idea but I'm still learning things about this shop. You know, it's got a little bit of, like I said, it's got a little bit of storage already in it. I can bring all my stuff over here, but I mean, it's compared to what I got, it's about twice the size. Right here, right here about how big my shop is. So I've got all that from the middle of that door to there extra. So, you know, I got, I got twice the shop. You know, I put, I put four cars in here easy. I can get six cars in here if I work at it. Uh, like I said, I'm probably not gonna use all these cat, uh, shelves and shit. 
I'll take them down and he said he wanted them. So if he wants them, he can have them. Uh, I really don't have any use for them. I mean, I need to find, I've got some shelves that I can mount to the wall, but I need to find the, the little, uh, the brackets for them, you know, they're, they're like shelves out of a CVS that just hang on that little metal shelf. So I've got to find the brackets for them to, to hold them up. But anyway, that's, that's my shop for right now. And, uh, I'll show you what else I'm going to do. All okay, right. I'm back Go out here outside where you can't see me or I can't see you. And, uh, Here's that strap I'm gonna put on there. Um, right here, it's three inch. I got a 20 foot stick of it or 20 foot, 20 foot of it. I had them cut it in half. It don't have to go all the way to the top of the door, but I think it will. I think that's only a 10 foot door. It, it can't be much bigger than that. I'll take a piece of that metal in a minute and put it up against it and see, but, uh, 10 foot ought to, ought to cover it. But anyway, that's it for now, guys. I'll let you go and uh, we're gonna start moving stuff in here. I'm gonna start moving stuff in here today. I don't need to video that because it's gonna take me forever because I just got a dolly uh, in my pickup. And uh, I'm just gonna load little shit up until my son gets here. Then we'll put the big shit in. But anyway, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye.